let's talk about the Yoruba god of lightning and thunder, Shango. Leave a comment if you're Yoruba. Shango is viewed as the most powerful deity of the Orisha. He's said to wield a two-edged axe, just like the one in the picture. That's where his power comes from. The Yoruba believe that wherever there's lightning and thunder, there are stones left behind. These stones are said to be cleansing stones from Shango. They search for these stones and when they do find them, they keep them to be used in worshipping the god of thunder. The Shango was once a man, a very fierce warrior who ruled over the kingdom of ancient Oyo as its fourth Alafin. He ruled over the Oyo people for seven years and in this time, there was serious war which he won. His leadership brought prosperity to the people of Oyo. So the council of gods, Orisha, decided that he should become one of them. But some parts of Yoruba depict him as an evil god of anger who expresses himself through lightning and sun. They say he abandoned his people for his quest to become a god. Legends say that when he talks, lightning and fire comes out of his mouth. He's one of the gods that has a strong sense of justice. He communicates with the chief priests by the means of possession. He's worshipped on the fifth day of the week by wearing red clothes. As we all know, the Yoruba like to party. So of course they have a festival for the Shango. In this festival, they use drums that sound like thunder to honor the god of thunder. This story has been told in different ways by different people. If you feel that there's something I missed, let me know in the comment section. And don't forget to follow.